Alright, what is up guys? This is Chris, or Lunar Man here, and today I'm bringing you another League of Legends video, because that's, it, this is like what it seems like you guys only like. I put up Hearthstone and Pokemon and... nothing. Oh well, anyway, I don't know, I'm in a good mood today, so I'm gonna make this commentary. And uh, uh, this is a game that I played, and I played as Shaco, or Nutcracko, and of course I thought I was against uh, Lee Sin, and then I kind of thought I was against Volibear. But then I saw they picked Renekton, so I knew I was against Renekton, because this was a um, draft pick. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm decent with Shaco, but I'm probably going to lose. Okay, so what happens? I get destroyed in lane, I'm not going to lie. Um, but I did not let that stop me from succeeding in this game. I don't know, this game I can try to give you tips on what to do if you're losing your lane. Because I lost mine really bad. <laughs> I didn't get a single one of his towers like 30 minutes in. He got both of mine within like 20 minutes. It was so bad. But the funny thing is, is I end up carrying and their Renekton goes 0 and 9. So you can judge how if I won or lost lane. Um, but yeah, so let's let's get started about talking about Shaco. Okay, Shaco is not very not very not played very much anymore. Um, I love him. I, he's honestly my favorite champ. I wish I could play him like all the time, but he doesn't fit into every team comp. Um, to me, he's like an assassin like Zed or Kha'Zix. Of course, Zed or Kha'Zix may be better. That's personal opinion. I think I think Shaco is just as good as Zed, but I think Kha'Zix definitely destroys Shaco. Um, but... I mean, Shaco versus Renekton will never work in lane. Like, it's... I don't... I Me, personally, I don't really think it will ever work in lane. Um, just Renekton's too much of a bully, and Shaco's too squishy early, unless you build tanky Shaco, which then doesn't make him an assassin, which doesn't make any sense. So... And another thing is, Shaco's best in the jungle, just like Elise or Vi, but that does not mean that you can... that you don't... that you can't play him like other lanes. Like, you can still play Elise mid, just you don't ever see anybody do it. Because her ganks are really good. Like, you don't ever see, like, Vi top, because then you'd be missing out on her amazing ganks. You know, it's also why Mundo's kind of better top right now than in the jungle, because Mundo's ganks lack. Because all he has is a slow, and if you miss a slow, so much for a gank, right? But, um, I don't know, Shaco's just a really fun champion. People don't really expect it. I guess kind of like Maokai. Maokai's not really played either. <laughs> but... I mean, if you need to watch this whole game, because, I don't know, you might be surprised, you might be like, this dude sucks, I don't know, <laughs> um, but I don't know, I just have a fun time, I try not to feed, um, like, whenever I, I think I'm losing lane, or I'm, or, you know, whenever I'm playing for real, like, seriously, and I don't want to lose, I don't want to, like, feed, but I'm losing lane, then I'll just play safe, I just play really safe early, um, I get a couple ganks where I get a kill, I do some roaming, uh, as you can see I took teleport and I do roam a lot. Like after he takes my tower, um, I don't go back to my lane until he's up to my next tower because there's really no point in me being in lane versus somebody that can just beat me one on one, you know what I mean? So like if my tower, if my first tower is gone and he still has his first tower but then I have my second tower and say we're about at tribush area, or say he's about tribush area. I don't want to be there because all he's going to do is like, you know, just like bully me away and I'm just sitting there not doing anything, like not getting any CS, not helping anybody. So I, whenever I lose my first tower, I only go back to lane whenever he's at the next tower. I help out mid, I teleport bottom one time, get a double kill. I think I get a double kill. Um, you know, I'll go farm the jungle because the, um, the big wraith and the um, wolves respawn really fast. Um, I, I've, I stole their red like twice, so I don't know, even though I lost lane, I tried to stay really active, just so that Renekton had to either shove my lane, which he did end up doing, and his team suffer, or he had to go help his team, by the, by the time he got there it was too late, because you know, my mobility is um, better than his. But it's really funny when I get uh, the first kill on him, because he, he's really cocky, He play, he's playing really cocky like early game. Because he's like, oh, it's Shaco, what's he gonna do? I'm just gonna bully him. Well, he ends up, like, tower diving me really freaking hard. And he just makes a really bad bad play. But yeah, Shaco. Um, in lane, I would say definitely max your E first. Um, 
And by in lane, he can effectively play mid and play top. You're like, mid? What the hell? Shaku can't play mid. He can play mid. I think I've talked about this before. Um, but he plays... B he can play mid, but he plays best in mid versus champs that are primarily skill shots. So that he can dodge all the skill shots. Like, you don't want to play mid versus LeBlanc. He'll get freaking destroyed. Or like, Shaco versus Ryze. Ryze would destroy him. Um, like any mid champion that has like the direct damage thing, like LeBlanc's Q or Shaco's uh, Rune Prison, uh, you would not want to play Shaco against. But if it's like Ari, bro, play Shaco versus Ari. See what happens. She'll be like, oh my god, this is the best Shaco ever. No, I don't know about that. But yeah, Shaco in lane, definitely max your E first. Um, uh, I'd say get your W second. Well, actually. Actually, Shaco in lane and in jungle, I'd say you max the same thing first. Like, in jungle, of course, you start with your boxes so you can clear the camp faster, but then you get your E, or then you get your Q, then your E third, but then you max your E first because it deals the most damage. Um, like, like right there, he just towered dove me, and uh, that wasn't the time he towered dove real hard, but it's, it's coming up because I get uh, level 6 off of it, I think. Um, oh, and also tell me if you like the way this is playing, like in spectator mode. Uh, I recorded it, or it was on my little replay, and I just recorded it with Fraps. And I didn't know if you want to like watch me the whole game, like locked onto me, because I hate it. <laughs> I don't like seeing myself locked onto me the whole time, so I just left it on. Yeah, like right here. What the hell? He just like dove all the way to my tower. I don't understand. And then he flashed back towards me with to ignite me when he was already in range for the ignite. I. That happened, and I just started laughing. Like, even though I—I I mean, even though I got the kill, I'm still not gonna be able to face him one v one. Like to face him one v one, I'd have to get like a—I'd um, have to get like a tanky item, and I'm shocked. I don't want to get a tanky item, because then I can't blow people up later. <laughs> you know what I mean? But. Um, I don't know, a build for Shaco, I usually just build the same thing every single game because it's the best. Because eventually whenever you get like, through items, no one can 1v1 you anyway, so I don't know why you need tank stuff. And you can just get away, so you're really in no danger. Um, I've, I've started starting with Static Shiv because I, uh, I start Static Shiv with Yasuo and Shaco because it kind of is the same thing in my head. Please correct me if you feel differently. And then I'll either get um, a Blade of the Ruin King if I need the life steal more, or in the attack speed more, or I'll get the Infinity Edge if I need the damage. But either way it goes, I'm gonna end up getting those three items first, and then I usually get like a um, a U Moose Ghost Blade, and then a Guardian Angel, and either attack speed boots. I think this game I get armor boots because their whole team is damage, and I don't really need that much attack speed. The armor would be better. And if I'm in the jungle, I'll probably get the yellow boots. The wandering boots. I don't remember what they're called right now. Um, but yeah, this game, I have no idea like how we won. The team is all damaged, but our team comp is kind of weird. Like You don't see these champions played that much. I mean, you see Ezreal and... Um, what's his face? Ghost Boy. Um, Thresh. But you don't really see Maokai ever. You, like, never see Shaco Top. And, like, Karthus Smith is good, but it's, eh, it's, it's not played as much as it used to be. I remember when Karthus was, like, the shiznit, dog, back in, like, Season 2 or some shit. But, yeah, as you can see, Renekton's destroying me in farm by that little thing. He's destroying me, like, in general. I eventually end up catching up to him in farm just because I'm amazing. Yeah, this is like one of those ganks, I think. May... No, he gets away this time. And I'm a scrub and I pop my ult. Good thing though, is Shaco's ult is on a really low cooldown. And luckily, our bot lane was doing pretty good, so... Um... Ooh! And I lined up the things on the little people thing down at the bottom middle. Like, the top, jungle... Like, they do an LCS, right? Right? You guys love me more, right? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um... But yeah, that's kind of all I have to say about Shaco Top. Um, if you have any questions about Shaco, uh, I can probably answer them because I really, really like Shaco. Um, I think I play him a lot. I've started him playing. I've started playing him like every single time I jungle. 
unless we need a tank or something, or unless I'm trying to play for real. Like most of the time when I play a Shaco, I just think, well, if I don't win, then I'll just learn from this loss or whatever. Um, but uh, I guess thank you guys for watching, and if you like this video, you should check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel because I'd love you forever. And we could be best friends and play League together. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys later.
destroyed.